Hello! Okay. So, before anything else, gusto ko muna kayo kamusahin. Kamusta ba kayo? Um, ano ba na-feel nyo ngayon? What are your thoughts? Ano ba sa tingin ninyo? Ano na nangyayari sa mundo? Um, how are you feeling? Um, are you safe with your family? Are you experiencing anything? Um, approach me whenever um, you feel na meron kayong doubts, questions, o uh, gusto i-clarify ng mga, uh, or anything. Just for anything. Okay? Um, I want you guys to be open about it para naman may nakakausap kayo. Okay? May nakakausap kayo o kung wala man kayo nakakausap. Okay? So, um, we're down with our last two piece for um, our marketing mix. Okay? So, meron na lang tayo. Ah, three rather. Tatlo na lang tayo kailangan i-discuss. So, that would be the first one, price. We're on the sixth one. So, for the price. Price is, what are we willing to give up for? And for an exchange and something for return. Okay? So, ano ba yung value na makikita ng isang tao dun sa minibigay mo para dun sa in-offer nila? Okay? So, these are just some of the factors that can affect product pricing. First one is availability of the competing products in presence of substitute products. What do we mean by this one? Okay. Kapag alam mo kung mas marami kang kakumpetensya, the tendency of price is that at par ka na lang sa kanila. What do we mean by that one? Pag sinabi natin at par, pare-pareho na lang kayo ng presyo. Walang mas mataas, walang mas mababa. Okay? Pwedeng yung ginagawang strategy ng iba ay mas binababaan nila kumpara doon sa competing prices nila. Okay? Because there are a lot of substitutes. Marami kang kakumpetensya. Okay? presence of substitute products. If I am offering milk tea and he, she, he, or uh, somebody else is um, offering coffee, juices, shakes, okay, ang tendency niyan, hindi pwedeng sobrang taasan mo yung presyo. Kasi alam mo na pwede silang mag-shift into an alternative or a substitute product. Okay? Next one is the cost. Cost of making the product and the type of product that you're making. Okay? Right now, everything is expensive. Okay? When we talk about raw materials, ang hirap mag-operate. And um, honestly, kahit kami, kami mga small business owners lang din naman kami, I'm not not gonna lie, okay? Pero it's been a really bummer for us as well. Sobrang hirap din kami, nagpapasahod pa rin kami and everything. And it's, it's really painful, okay? But we need to... Um, you know, need to takasan yung loob para lumaban ka. Okay? So, um, again, going back to this one, the cost of making your product might be a little more expensive. That's why, kailangan mo rin taasan yung mismong product mo. Okay? Going back dun sa ating paper game activity from before. Okay? Hindi pwede na mas mataas pa yung cost yung cost na nagagamit mo sa paggawa ng product kesa dun sa mismong ina-ask mo dun sa mga customers mo. You have to keep that in mind na kailangan mo i-cover man lang yung costs na meron ka when it comes to your product. Okay? Having said that, the type of product that you're making might actually also um, affect yung mismong product pricing mo. Kung hindi naman, kung hindi naman masyadong luxurious yung product na ginagawa mo, pwede hindi naman siya ganun kamahal. But if you're you're talking about steel, um, uh, first grade, high class, okay, na mga high-end materials, high quality products yung ginagamit mo, of course, malaki ang chances na magiging mataas din yung presyo ng produkto mo. Okay? The next one is the stages of the product in the market. When we say stages, okay, hindi ito yung uh, basta-basta stages lang, ha? Ito yung sinasabi natin, um, ito ba ay pa-hype pa lang, trending na, or pabagsak na? Okay? That's why, again, you need to know the difference of a trend and a fad. Okay? Right now, sana, sana, okay, bumaba na ang trend natin sa ating COVID-19 para naman everything would go back to normal. Okay? So, you need to know what is the stage of the product in the market right now. Okay? Uh, alcohol, for example, nag-spike up yung prices niya because of the, the things that are happening around 
uh, around us and yung consideration na kailangan taasan talaga yung presyo for other people. But buti na lang, ginawa ng TTI, yung dapat nilang matagal lang ginagawa na hindi masyado mataas yung presyo. Okay? Sixth one, or the sixth factor, is the demographic profile of the target consumers. If your consumers are high-class consumers or uh, price-sensitive consumers, kailang, or isa rin to sa mga ka-apekto dun sa decision-making nila. So, there are three bases of pricing. Okay? For the three bases of prices, we have the following. First one is cost plus base. Okay, second one is value base and the third one is competitive base. But before we go into that, let me show you this one. Okay? This one is um ito yung nangyayari or this is the exchange process. Okay? In this exchange, the provision the provision of transfer of goods, services or ideas in return for something valuable is happening. So, if I am the buyer, okay? If I am the buyer, if I am this one, ito. Okay? What I give to the seller is something of value in terms of money, credit, labor, and goods. Okay? The seller will give me something of value then. Okay? The seller now will give me the uh, something of value in the form of good service or ideas na binabayaran ko. Okay? Now, dito ngayon papasok, ano ba ngayon yung value na nakikita ko dun sa produkto nila? So, dito papasok yung three bases of prices natin, which is, again, the cost plus base, value base, and competitive base. For the first one, we have the cost plus base. Okay? Or we often call this as cost-based pricing. In cost-plus-based pricing, either a fixed amount or a percentage of the total product's manufacturing cost is added as profit to the cost of the product to arrive at its selling price, meaning cost plus the type of markup. That I want. When we say markup, ito yung tubo na gusto mo. Let's say in every price or in every product, I want to earn 20 pesos. So I'm gonna add 20 pesos for every product. Okay? Let's say that in all the costs that I have or in all the products that I have, I want to give um 20% plus dun sa mismong um, product. So that's good, gonna be good for me. Okay? Now, what are the advantages and the disadvantage of having a cost plus base pricing? Okay. You don't need to read everything, but what I want you to know is um, the major advantage of a cost base pricing is that it's straightforward and it's simple. Okay? But um, this only secures the sellers. Okay? This only secures the sellers. This is not asking what the customers want. It's not considering their needs. It's not maximizing everything. Okay? It's simply the price na gusto mo. Okay? So, it's very straightforward. It's very simple. It's a good strategy for uh, small-time businesses. Okay? What's the disadvantage of cost plus base pricing? It may lead to underpriced products. It may sometimes be... And sometimes ignore customers' role in overall market and ignore the opportunity cost of the investment. This is what I'm talking about. Although this particular um, basis of prices is very simple and it's very direct, okay? One of the major um, disadvantage naman na makikita natin sa kanya is it completely ignores what your consumer wants, okay? Now, for the next one. The next one is value-based. Value-based pricing is the value is related relative to cost in determining the worth of a product. For example, cell phone. Second-hand cell phone, for example. Okay? If it's a new product, the unused benefits, that's the price. So, 50,000, let's say 50,000, di mo pa binabuksan, di mo pa ginagalaw, it's still at 50,000. The moment that you open it, the moment you start using it, it depreciates. Okay? What are the things that depreciates? Yun yung bumababa yung presyo. Okay? When we say depreciation, ito yung bumababa yung price nila over time. Okay? All gadgets, all gadgets, okay? Dapat nag-upgrade ka at least five years, okay? Kasi ito na yung hindi na, hindi na pwedeng um, i-upgrade yung iOS mo, hindi na pwedeng i-upgrade yung software mo, hindi na kakayanin yung um, chips inside dun sa mismong phone mo. That's why after five years, kailangan mo talaga siyang palitan, 
Okay? But there are this um, good phones that we have right now, smartphones that we have right now na parang kahit siguro 10 years, kahit di mo palitan, okay lang. Okay? So, uh, every time it depreciates, for example, 50,000, you divide it by 5. Kasi 5 yun life niya. Okay? So, you divide it by 5. Every year, it loses 10,000 value. So, nagamit mo na isang taon, you can still sell it at 40. Depende pa rin, ah. Depende pa rin if nagamit mo siya with um, care, with love, with affection, okay? Nagamit mo siya na maayos, hindi mo naman siya ginasgasan, hindi mo siya binato-bato sa kung saan-saan. So, it's okay. Okay? So, Every time it depreciates, okay, let's say, ginamit mo siya na 3 years, ano na lang yung value ng 50,000 phone mo? Okay? Right now, it's already at 20,000 na lang. Okay? Because that is the remaining benefits that you are offering in the market. Am I making myself clear? Okay, sige. Basta if may questions kayo, comment down below. Okay? Another one. Okay. If I'm going too fast, you may review um, the slides that I have given sa inyong class representatives. Okay? Now, for your competitive base pricing, for competitive base prices, the price of the competing product is used as a benchmark. Again, an ulit kapag sinabi natin benchmarking. Benchmarking is looking at competitors. Ano yung ginagawa nila and how can you compare that sa inyo? Okay? The business may sell its product at a price above or below such benchmarks. So, pwedeng yung um, nakikita mo dun sa mga product nila, mas mataas yung presyo, uh, mataas yung presyo nila. Gusto mo na uh, pag-penetrate ka muna sa market, gusto mo na makilala ka ng market, so hindi mo tataasan yung presyo mo na katulad dun sa kanila, pero slightly lower ka lang ng konting-konti. Okay? But, again, you don't want to be perceived as a cheap product. Okay? Always remember that affordable is better than cheap. Okay? So, don't ever use the word cheap in describing your products. Okay? Okay. Now, this one. This is supposed to be an example that I want to share with everyone. Okay? Um, si Salon A, Salon B, and Salon C. Okay, pag nagpagupit ka, ito yung parang um, gusto kong malaman ninyo. Okay, if I were to um, ask you a question, will you go for Salon A with 45 pesos? Okay, it's very low cost. Um, it's only located one hour away by car or transit. Next available appointment is in three weeks time, Mondays to Fridays, 9 to 5 p.m. Okay? And once you're there, you're only going to wait for two hours. But, again, 45 pesos lang yung mabayaran mo. Okay? The next one is Salon B. This is what we call value for money. Okay? You'll be paying for 85 pesos. It's located by, uh, it's located 15 minutes away by car or transit. The next available appointment is in one week time. And, uh, same with the other, it's Mondays to Fridays. Earlier, um, 8 to 10 p.m. naman siya. Okay? Now, upon arriving there, you'll be waiting for 30 to 45 minutes only. Okay. Now, let's go and look at Salon C. We, we call it as the deluxe service. Okay? It is 125 pesos. Located next to your home, your office, or your school. Um, the next appointment would be the next day. And then hours or um, operational days would be Mondays to Saturdays from 8 to 10 p.m. By appointment, estimated wait is around 0 to 15 minutes. So, if I am going to ask you, all of you that are listening, hi, would you go for Salon A? Okay, the low cost. Would you go for Salon B, the value for money? Or Salon C, the deluxe service? Alin dyan ngayon yung pipiliin nyo? I want you to really think about it. Okay? And then comment down below. What's your answer? Are you going for Salon A, Salon B, or Salon C? And then give me your argument. Bakit? Bakit ka magsasalon A? Okay? E isang oras yung layo niya. Bakit ka magsasalon B? E 85 pesos yan. Okay? Bakit ka magsasalon C? Eh, 
125 pesos. Tapos, by appointment siya. So, what are you going for? Okay? Now, I want you to realize that this is also part of the activity. So, um, hindi ko naman kayo pinipilit na mag-comment tapos magsagot. But I want to know, what are your thoughts about it? Why would you go for A, B, or C? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Nakapagsagot ka ba? Okay. Nasagutan mo? Are you sure? Sure ka na dyan? Okay. Let's move on from that one. Okay. What I'm only telling you is that in this activity... A lot of you, hi, a lot of you will go for, if I'm going to ask this in class, a lot of you will go for Salon C, okay? Bakit Salon C? All of you have time that you don't want to waste, okay? Ayaw nyo mag-travel ng isang oras para lang magpagupit. Gusto nyo yung malapit. A lot of you are very maarte when it comes to their hair, okay? So you'd go for something that is by appointment. Okay, meron naman yung mga low maintenance sa inyo na would go for the 8 to 5 pesos and it's not bad. Okay, what I'm only trying to tell you is that in every circumstances, based on the value that you are giving to your customers, prices will depend on that. Okay, your price can affect the type of branding that you are going for. Okay, prices can affect kung ano man yung value na nakikita nila. Yes, I might be paying for more. I might be paying for $125, but it's just next to my house. Okay? I might be paying for $125, pero at the same time, the next day, pwede na akong magpagupit. Unlike yung mag ako ng isang oras, ng 30 minutes, yung time na gagasusin ko, pamasahe na gagasusin ko, in driving there, in going there, in that specific salon, isn't it the same cost? that I will incur, or even more, kapag nandun ako sa isang salon. Okay? So, those are just um, brain games that I have for you. Okay? So, um, again, pricing will always affect the type of branding that you will have. That's why I want you to really think about it when you put a price tag on everything that you are selling. Okay? Don't hesitate to ask for more. Okay, these are just some other pricing strategies that you might want to um try in the future kasi wala na time bazaar. So, in the future, pwede niyo naman silang subukan. First one is introductory or promotional pricing. When you are launching a new product or if you're new in the market, it's always good to have an introductory price. Parang uh, mas mura yung presyo na binibigay mo in your first 50 customers, 100 customers. Kasi gusto mo muna subukan nila para hindi sila mag-hesitate na parang, ah, okay, I'll give you a try pero nagtatapon ba ka ng pera or hindi. So, tignan natin. Okay? Charge different prices in different geographical areas to take care of additional logistic costs in farther locations or to accommodate the lower purchasing power in poorer geographic areas. What do we mean by this one? Kapag kayo ay mas malayo, ask for more shipping fee. Kapag kayo ay nasa magandang lugar, it's okay to have or increase prices. Um, I am not sure if napapansin ninyo, but Prices in different fast food chains differ kapag nasa ibang lugar kayo. Sa probinsya, Potato Corner is one example pala. Potato Corner. Ang Potato Corner sa probinsya, mas mura. Okay? Ang Potato Corner dito sa Manila, I think Giga or Mega is 110 or 115. Sa province, it's just 90. 90 pesos. Okay? It, 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 it adjusts. Depends dun sa kung nasan siya. Okay, kung nasang area ba sila papunta. Kasi again, they are um, trying to adapt based on the customer profiles na nakikita nila dyan sa mismong area. Okay, the third one is discount pricing. Given to loyal and regular customers to maintain their patronage. It's about having that relationship to your customers. Okay, hindi naman relationship na relationship, relationship ha. Or um, what I'm only trying to say is... Um, You need to be good to the people who supports you. Okay? So, um, let's say, pang sampung balik niya na, pang uh, limang beses niya na bumibili sa inyo, give them freebies. Okay? Or marami silang tinry ng mga products sa inyo because they know that you're good. So, um, give them something, a freebie, for example. 
Kasi that way, okay, babalik-balikan ka nila because they know that they are going, doing good business with you. Okay? Okay, so we're on the seventh already. For the seventh P or marketing mix, we have people. People are individual employees or workers who are directly involved in the marketing and the sales of the people. Uh, of the product or services this talks about the kind of culture um that you have inside your organization um honestly during this covid-19 um pati kami mga business owners nahihirapan kami okay i'm not sure kung kami ay may babayaran ng mga bills pagdating ng um kapag natapos tong enhanced community quarantine um we flushed out all our inventories before kami um nag nagkaroon before nagkaroon ng lockdown um nagsuspend pa lang because of it nag uh, flush out na kami ng mga inventories namin and all that with the help of our employees um we also gave them pay para dyan. i have employees that are uh no work no pay hi and it sucks hi um hindi namin hinayaan yun na mangyari lang uh, yung mga empleyado namin na no work, no pay, um, binigyan pa rin namin. Kasi, um, it will suck. Okay? Kapag ang tao ay nagugutom, nagiging agresibo. Nagiging matapang. Nagiging, uh, hindi niya alam kung saan niya kukunin eh. Okay? I, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the platform by, of Netflix. Pero, um, it's a good realization that we are experiencing right now. Not everyone is privileged. You might be in the comfort of your homes, but for others, hindi. Pwedeng kayo ay nasa piling ng mga magulang ninyo. Yung iba naman, hindi. Pwedeng yung iba happy na nasa bahay sila. Yung iba naman, hindi. Okay? So, um... People are your biggest assets in the business. That's why you need to really take care of them. Um, they are your ultimate marketing strategies when it comes to the type of business, any type of business that you're going to make. Once they don't try anymore, once they get tired of the the things that you're throwing at them, they'll stop. They'll just stop. Okay? So, ayaw nyo naman na ganun yung mangyari. So, you need to really take good care of them. So, if I were you, um, swelduhan yung mga kailangan swelduhan, pakainin yung mga kailangan pakainin. I want you guys to donate. Kung kaya nyo lang naman, mag-donate din kayo para sa mga ates and kuyas natin ng mga security guards sa, uh, I think this was opened by the student council already. Um, we've posted, uh, they've posted um, sa kanilang SOCMED regarding kung paano kayo makakapagbigay, makapagpaabot sa mga ates and kuyas natin kasi um, hindi natin alam kung gaano katagal to. Pero sila, no work, no pay sila. So, yung mga security guards, yung mga maintenance natin, um, pumapasok pa rin sila. Okay, and uh, meron sa kanila na may mga pamilya, umaasa sa everyday um, na binibigay sa kanila na UST. So, it's it's sad. Okay, it's a very sad moment for a lot of people. Okay, so again, that is people. Bali yun lang yung sasabihin ko for people because um, a lot of the things that we're going to discuss for people, makikita natin sa HR. Okay? The next one is prospect. When we talk about prospect, this talks about people. These are your target market. These are your customers. Okay? Sila ngayon yung bumibili na sa inyo. Sila yung kakailanganin ninyo para magkaroon kayo ng pera, ng revenues, ng sales, okay? ng profits in the business. Okay? Uh, why do we do market segmentation in the first place? Okay? We do market segmentation so that um, it would be easier for us to identify the customer profile that we're going for. Um, I do work from home right now um, in the company. Um, the ad, advert na ginagawa namin, okay? Um, until now, nag, 
nagre-release kami ng mga pubmats para sa company nila, gumagawa kami ng mga ideas para sa company nila, and it's always good to identify who is the type of market na kakailanganin ko. Should I be looking for the geographic, the demographic profile of that one? Should I also include the kind of lifestyle that they have, the kind of values, interests, personalities that they have, what triggers them to buy, what kind of occasion makes them buy that certain product. Okay? Those are behavioral, psychographic, demographic, and geographical factors that you can only make during market segmentation. Okay? Now, Look at this one. Okay. Ay, hindi ko napapakita yung video na yun, ha? Kasi hindi nyo siya magigits. Okay? So, dito na tayo. Okay. Now, for Samsung. Samsung, usually, um, I believe this is, um, uh, this is true. Okay? Kasi, um, on the age demographics, on the age of the users for Samsung, for Samsung, um, they are usually um, the teenagers to early adults. Okay, um, if you look at the users for Samsung and iPhones, okay, or Apple, Apple products rather, okay, Apple is very has a very friendly UI. Okay, sobrang friendly. As in, um, kahit lolo ko siguro, kayang gamitin yung iPhone kasi madali siya. Hindi siya yung kailangan kong pag-aralan para lang uh, malaman ko ano yung specs yan, ano nagagawa ng button na to, ano yung nagagawa ng this and that. Um, series also, not complicated. Okay, but um, if you look at for Samsung, okay, psychographic factors for Samsung is that most of their users are technology savvy or techno savvy. Okay, so sila ngayon yung mas um, well informed uh, and proficient in the use of modern technology. Having said that, sila yung mas um, naglilin in dun sa pag alam kung paano ginagamit yung, let's say, Samsung Note, Samsung Flip. Um, sila ngayon yung gumagamit ng mga tablets, for example, that acts, apparently is um, um, the best tablet for Android users, okay? But we also have this iPad Pro na ni-release ni Apple. Silang dalawa, nag, naglalaban sila. But at the same time, okay, if you look at Apple, it's for a friendly interface, okay? Maganda yung UI niya, maganda, and hindi siya mahirap aralin kung paano ginagamit. For Samsung, it's a little complicated, um, more complicated than iPhone, than the iPhones or Apple. But, um, again, hindi na naman siya yung sobrang hirap na parang ayaw mo na siyang gamitin. Okay, that was the problem with um, Nokia from before. Um, when they tried switching into... Um, a smartphone. Okay, I'm not sure if you know that. Um, nagkaroon ng Windows na phone. Okay, um, it was very complicated to use. Okay, for a lot of users. Sobrang hirap niyang gamitin. The UI was bad. That's why it didn't hit the kind of targets that they were expecting. So, yung simplicity of the iPhone itself, that's the reason why it's selling big. Okay, unlike the other phones. Okay, the simplicity of it. The next one. Next one is this one. This is um, SMDC. Okay, a lot of you are um, mga nagdo-dorm, nakastay sa mga sa SMDC, sa sun residences. Okay, alam ko naman na mga taga rotonda lang din naman kayo. Okay, yung iba sa inyo dyan nagsistay or um, kapag nandito sa school, dyan sila nagsistay. So, um, I want you to recall ano ba yung itsura ng mga studio or yung mga condo units that you have. Okay, na-recall nyo na ba? Okay, usually this is um, the look naman for another company. So, this is from Amaya. Okay? This is the look naman that Amaya is going for. So, usually, ganyan yung mga style or perspectives na pinapakita nila sa mga clientels nila. So, what's the difference of SMDC and Amaya? Okay? So, SMDC, the good guys, and Amaya, kaya ko na. Okay? So, um... Their target market are middle class income earners. Okay? And usually, okay, ang tinatarget nila. For SMDC, these are the single and young professionals. These also includes the students, college, 
kay college, senior high school, high school students that are studying here in Manila. Okay? Sila yung mga single, yung may pera, yung mga nagtatrabaho, yan, nasa SMD sila. If you already have families, families and households, dito na ngayon pumapasok si Amaya. Okay? Bakit Amaya? Most of their clients um, talagang pamipamilya. Mas malalaki yung condo units nila comparing it to SMDC. SMDC, usually, ah, usually yung mga units nila fit is um, dalawang tao lang. Okay? Hanggang tatlong tao. Okay? Pero yung um, for Amaya, it's much larger, mas mataas din ang konti, yung ceiling nila para nag, nagiging okay yung mga bunk beds and whatsoever para mas nakakapag-cater sila sa mga families. Okay? That's the type of target market that they are going for. Hindi porket kondo, isang part lang yan or parang isang um, target market lang hinihit nila. No, marami-rami rin silang mga market na tinitingnan. Okay? Now, building a brand. Um, I've mentioned before that um, we're already done with the eight piece. Okay. Um, I've mentioned before that we will be tackling on how can you create a good brand. Okay. You start with doing a brand mantra. Brand, brand mantra can guide your employees in amplifying the marketing plans. So, for example, for example, we have the Disney. Okay. So Disney. Looking at Disney, their emotional modifier is that it's fun, okay? Their descriptive modifier is it's for family, okay? The brand functions as an entertainment. They already have the Disney Plus, okay? They already have that, um, the yung mga Hong Kong Disneyland, yung mga Disneyland, okay? They have different movies, merchandises that is attached to it. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi, again, yung function na meron sila is focus on the entertainment factor. What they're going for is that they would like to entertain as much people as possible. Okay? Yung pinaka-market nila is that they wanted to have good family and family in general yung gusto nilang i-attack dun sa mga approaches nila. And paano nila i-attack yun? Ano yung gusto nila ipakita? Okay? That it's fun, it's um, freeing to watch, it's okay to watch them. So, yan yung mga emotional, descriptive, and brand function na ginagawa ni Disney. Okay? Now, if I were to ask you, what's this one? Anong company Ka uh, company yan? We find ways. What's that? Okay, tama si BDO. Okay. Um, pangalawa, just do it. Sino yan? Si Adidas ba yan? Ah, galing. Si Nike yan. Okay. So, this one. Ang sarap ng feeling mo. Okay. That's Rubisco. Okay. Now, looking at that. What comes to your mind when you hear the word toothpaste? Okay. What comes to your mind when you hear the word soft drinks? Okay. This is where branding happens. Okay. Branding happens when your name okay, is already associated with the function that you are going to give to your customers. For example, Colgate. Okay. Another example, Scotch tape. Another example, Coke. Okay. These are brands na na-associate na dun sa functions na binibigay nila kasi sila yung nauna, sila yung superior dun sa mga uh, ginagawa nila. Okay? When you say adhesive, sasabihin mo bang bro pahing adhesive? No. Sasabihin mo, bro pahing scotch tape. Okay? But scotch tape is a brand that is superior in all of the adhesive. So, kahit pang anong adhesive yan, ang sinasabi mo, scotch tape. Okay? So, branding. Brand is the name, the design, color, symbol, quality, features, or a combination of these elements that makes the product separate and distinct from the similar products or of competition. Now, branding serves three different purposes. The first um, purpose is for it to be different. Okay? Gusto mo maging unique. The second one, avoid commodity image. What do we mean by commodity image ba? Okay? 
you don't want to be common. Okay? Commodity image system is referring to the process of advertising of these products and how advertising process affects our culture. Adver uh, advertising that we create show us that it, there is always a better life. Okay, na ahead of us if we use this particular product. Okay, it leads us to believe that we can relieve, uh, receive um, self validation, self validation from the things that we buy based on the advertiser's success in convincing us. That's why you wanted to avoid having that commodity image as part of your product. Okay, you want to fill in a space. Okay, in the consumer's mind. Gusto mo na every time that they are thinking of a certain milk tea, milk tea brand mo yung maiisip nila because you're different and you're not common. Okay? Now, we will always remember the first but not the second one. Not the third, not the fourth one. Okay? We might remember what's the last. Okay? But, Always, lagi natin na naalala kung ano yun na una, ano yung superior in that particular area. Okay? Branding and brand equity goes hand in hand. That's why you have to make sure that you fill in, okay? Fill in yung mga space na yan sa um, consumer's mind. Okay? Kaya nga, dyan pumapasok si Xerox. Okay? Pa Xerox nga. Xerox is a brand. Okay, for photocopying. Sila yung unang brand before na nag-introduce sa atin ng isang magandang photocopier machine. That's why Xerox, Xerox became um, the action, yung ina-associate na natin dun sa action of actually photocopying a certain document. Pa Xerox nga, okay? Si Scotch Tape, si Colgate, those are superior brands. Okay, already. Okay, importance of branding. They associate the features, the attributes, benefits, or value of the product with the brand. Consumers sometimes become familiar with the brand name than the product itself. And they position the brand, not the product, at the back of their mind. Okay? These are just some of the importance na meron tayo when uh, it comes to doing branding. At the same time, this is uh, what we call color emotion guide. Okay. I've been in... Um, I've been doing marketing siguro for quite some time. Okay? For quite some time. And um, these are the things that we will always um, follow. Okay? Ito yung lagi namin pinafollow. So, um, dito sa nakikita natin, parang rainbow. Ito. Yan. Um, the yellow one always symbolizes optimism. Clarity, warmth. That's why these are the brands that are associated with that one. If you want... Um, your consumers to feel that in your brand, dapat alam mo kung anong type of emotional guide, what type of color yung gusto mo makita nila sa inyo. So, for example, McDonald's. McDonald's is all about happiness, optimism, warmth. You want them to be happy every time they see the two golden arches. Okay? So, uh, nandito sila ngayon, si McDonald's, sa yellow. Yan yung ginagamit nilang mga... Um, uh, colors para dyan, okay? Um, another one is blue. Blue is a symbol of trust, dependable, and strength, okay? So, um, if you want to uh, give your trust to someone, okay? Um, hindi naman sa siguraduhin mo naka-blue sila, pero um, eto makikita natin na you're giving away your information in Facebook, okay? A lot of your information are in Facebook. Birthday, contact details, emails, um, even yung mga pictures na nangyayari dyan sa mga events nyo in your life, nasa Facebook yung lahat. You're giving your trust to them na binibenta nila yung information mo sa iba't ibang company, but at the same time, you're still doing it, okay? Because, again, that is the type of emotional guide na ginagawa nila for you, okay? Uh, spa. Spa are usually um, peaceful, healthy. It's about um, that clarity na makikita mo. So, usually, yung mga ginagamit nila dyan, it's a combination of um, these things such as blue and green. Okay? So, nandiyan yung um, you wanted to have that serene, peaceful uh, environment, but at the same time, trust. Okay? Um, usually, uh, red is used for um, 
fast food chains. Bakit sa tingin niyo red? Kasi um sabi nila na um there's that psychological factor na the red um color nakakagutom siya. Kaya um let's say Coca-Cola, yan din yung ginagamit nila. That's why it's a perfect pair for all the food na gin uh, na kinakain natin. Coca-Cola is a perfect pair. Um another thing is um usually mga fast food, KFC, McDo, Jollibee, lahat yan namumula kasi yun nga it entices your appetite somehow. So that serves as part of the color guide. Okay? Again, looking at this one, PayPal, it's all about trust, MasterCard, same. So, ito yung mga colors na ginagamit nila or color combinations na ginagamit nila using, again, the previous emotion or color emotion guide na pinapakita natin with them. Okay? So, that particularly or that basically ends everything for our um, lesson for marketing. I hope that everyone was able to catch up um, with the lesson. I'm so sorry that um, this is happening and I cannot show my face kasi nga camera shy ako. But if you have questions, clarifications, things that you want to ask, um, just email me or comment down below because I'll start reading them. Okay? Kasi um, I've been in a hiatus. Kasi wala lang. Kasi kailangan lang natin ng konting peace of mind. That's why I wanted to spend my time with my family. And I hope that you guys can understand that. So here am I. Uh, I'm back. Better than ever. Wow. So um, I hope you guys are doing fine. You're okay. And see you guys soon. Goodbye.